So it's, I'm honored to be here and have the opportunity to speak to you. I've lived in Auburn for a long time. Uh, we moved, my family moved here in 1951 to the Green River Salmon Hatchery, where my father was the superintendent for more than 20 years. I went to Auburn schools, and I was around <clears throat> when a group of like-minded citizens decided to pursue the idea of a community college in Auburn to enhance and improve the lives of the people who live here. When Green River College became a reality, I was pleased to see many of the teachers, the excellent teachers that I knew from Auburn High School. Vern Lowland was one, Dennis White, John Hanscom, and Don Alexander, who's in the building, the, one of the best teachers I had in my entire school career, and he was determined that I would learn calculus, um, which I didn't spend enough time doing my homework to get a good grade, and he very graciously passed me in that class. <laughs> but he's truly one of the best teachers I ever had, and Green River was lucky to have him. The Green River College uh, campus was designed with an eye to preserving and enhancing the natural surroundings, providing a serene and beautiful setting for pursuing one's dreams of a successful future. In 1975, the Green River Foundation was created for the purpose of assisting the college to provide excellence in education and an additional pathway was thereby created for those who aspired but limited in their ability to continue their education. For me, the path to college was not open. It was not possible for my parents to provide funding, and at that time, it was a really long time ago, the opportunities for grants and scholarships were very limited. I went on with my life and have had much success and, and made um, and much pride in my accomplishments. I am, however, a great champion for education and training and encourage everyone to learn as much as they can, get the degree, get the certificate, keep on, find your path, find out where you want to go, and let people help you get there. I'm honored to serve on the foundation board and privileged to be part of the work of ensuring student success and saying yes to students as well and as often as we can. And now it's my pleasure to introduce a foundation scholarship winner, Asia Tanis. And I'd like to tell you a couple things about Asia. She's a graduate of Kent Meridian High School, and this is her first year at Green River. Asia has a passion for marketing and has had the opportunity to work alongside her mother, who's the marketing director, marketing manager at Kent Station. She is pursuing her Associate of Arts degree and plans to go into the Bachelor of Applied Sciences Business Marketing and Entrepreneurship Program at Green River. So would you please help me welcome Asia. Oh, that's me. Oh, I'm really tall too, okay. I'm just gonna warn you that my speech is really lighthearted, so please laugh at my jokes, because it'll make me feel really good about myself. I truly thought I was gonna miss high school. How hilarious is that? <laughs> yeah, there we go. As much as I hate to admit it, everything they tell you about college is true. You'll make so many new friends. You're gonna find things that you love that you never would have thought of before. You're gonna eat a lot of top ramen. Or in my case, cheeseburgers and curly fries from the Gator Grill. Although Green River is no longer a community college, I have found this to be such an amazing little community. Professors and students alike are so incredibly friendly here, but I can't say the same about the squirrels. I can't help but chase their furry little tails around campus, even after I got attacked by a squirrel jumping out of a garbage can. It's a true story. But critters aside, this is an incredible environment to learn and grow, and I have done a lot of both of these things in just a short month. This is my first year at Green River, and I didn't do Running Start or any of that. 
because I just didn't know how great it was here. I know most of you don't know me, so let me give you some quick background. I'm a musician, and exclusively a musician, meaning there isn't an athletic bone in my body. But guess who joined the cross-country team? You are looking at the reigning last place champ of last week's cross-country meet. <laughs> well, now my next sentence won't really mean anything, but now you might think that isn't worthy of any applause. But I went from exercising maybe once a year and only on accident to exercising in a gym multiple times a week. I won't lie to you and tell you that I love to exercise, because I don't, but I have definitely broadened my horizons and have made my family laugh in disbelief. And that's all thanks to this new environment I'm in and the people I've met who have motivated me to be a better version of myself. Another thing you should know about me is that I'm terrified of change. I like to be in control, so any new situation where I don't know what to expect is really scary. That's why I told you I thought I would miss high school. Not because I liked it, because who really does, but because it had become my comfort zone. I was also plagued with the question of whether or not I had made the right choice in coming to GRC. So many of my friends were moving across the state or even across the country, but not me. I didn't know if I was doing the right thing, but that changed the second I stepped on campus. Surrounded by squirrels and filled with nerves, I found my way to my first class and I just knew that this was the right place for me. Within my first week here, I met people who have become such close friends, which is something I've never really had in high school. And every time I step foot onto this beautiful campus, I feel right at home. And now I get to the point of my speech and the whole reason I was asked to speak in the first place. Thank you. In case I haven't made it clear, I absolutely love it here at Green River. And I have all of the generous people in this room to thank. So thank you to all of you for making people's college dreams come true at the best college on the planet. And yes, I'm a little biased. <laughs> on behalf of everyone who has been given a scholarship from the Green River Foundation, not just me, I hope you know that you have blessed many lives in many different ways. And there really are not enough kind words to rightly express the gratitude that I have. You have made something really difficult a little bit easier by taking away some of the financial bur bur burden. Do any of you know the book, When You Give a Mouse a Cookie? Okay, okay, good. Then this, this will make sense. Well, I couldn't stop thinking about it when writing the speech and saw a great opportunity for a mediocre analogy. So even if you don't know the book, just try and follow along. When you give a college student a scholarship, they're going to go to school. And when they go to school, they're going to find their passions. And when they find their passions, they will change the world. So thank you to everyone in this room for allowing us to change the world. Thank you.